And that jam was actually uh, Siggy Joanne's So Easy. Um, everyone, welcome to an easy webinar. And today we actually are featuring our friends from Investec. Um, today we're actually going to particularly speak about a, a product called the Investec USD MSCI Emerging Markets Index Digital Plus. It's a, <laughs> it's a mouthful, but I think I've got that correct. And I'd like to welcome um, the folks from Investec, John and Anika. Um, if John can say hi to everyone for us. Yeah, how's it everyone? Thanks for joining. We're very excited to have you here. Let me just share my screen in a second. Cool, everyone. So we've actually got a presentation to kick off the proceedings today. So we're going to start with the presentation and then everyone can go over to the Q&A section to ask your questions. Um, so yeah, take it away, John. Great. So. Like I said, thanks everyone for joining. My name is John Sherry. Um, we work in Investec Bank and we have been listing structured products for the past 20 odd years. Um, in that time, we have launched around 150 products. Um, of those, 80 have matured. And of those 80, 90% have returned profit to the end investor. 10% have returned capital. And we're very proud to say that none of our products have ever returned a loss to the end investor if held to maturity. So structured products are fixed term investments based on the performance of an underlying reference asset, such as an index. And what they do is they offer um, two key elements. The first is capital protection, which says if the market falls, you might be protected under certain conditions. Obviously, if the market falls and you get your money back, you're in a, in a much better place. The second is some, sort, some, some form of enhanced upside return under certain market conditions. So today's product is based on the performance of the MSCI Emerging Markets Index. Um, the, index the index itself, um, based on what I'm showing you, you'll see on the right, it is a very much Asian flavored feel. Um, you'll see China and Taiwan make up half the index, as well as South Korea, Brazil, um, forming 75% of the index itself. South Africa, that small green sliver here is only 4% of the index with the balance being made up of some BRICS, some Thailand, some Mexico. So very much a Chinese, Taiwan, Asian focused index. Um, if you look at the left here and the sector weights, you'll see there's quite a nice spread across IT, uh, financials, consumer discretionary. And while there is a big chunk of IT stocks over here, um, it's quite a different flavored theme to what we're seeing on the S&P or, or developed markets. Um, if you guys know on the S&P, for instance, the FANG stocks, the Facebook, the Amazon, the Google, they have rallied um, fantastically strong in the last 10 years, um, but that might lead to a, a chance of a correction. These IT stocks are semiconductors, chip stocks, um, Samsung Electronics. So they are IT quite heavy on this index, but a slightly different flavor to what we're seeing um, on the S&P. And you'll see lastly that this index um, has around 1,400 stocks. So quite nicely spread across um, a big number of stocks. So why EM? We think um, the market environment is pointing towards a good idea to buy EM, EM at the moment, EM being emerging markets. With the way COVID has gone, we are seeing interest rates at record low levels. We are seeing dollar liquidity being pumped into the markets to stimulate economies. Um, we are seeing commodity prices um, rising to, to very high levels, which helps emerging market economies. And we're seeing the developed markets having recovered um, and then some since COVID, whereas emerging markets have sort of lagged behind. And we are hoping with um, the way COVID is going and the way the vaccine rollout is being implemented, um, very soon EM should recover and hopefully outperform. So yeah, maybe to take a, a few minutes here to look at some fundamental indicators. Um, this graph over here shows the Southeast Asia's internet economy. 
which is basically people using the internet to buy goods. And we think this is a strong indicator for a, a young demographic who are happy to spend money, are happy to use the internet and, and pump the economy forward. And what this graph shows here is that the, um, the value of this economy tripled from 2015 to 2020. And it also shows that its forecast triple again in the next five years. And we think this is a fundamental indicator to why EM economies are going to, to pump going forward. Some more um, fundamentals here. The left graph, we're looking at flows into and out to and into and out of emerging market economies. The light blue graphs here are the flows um, out of equities. And obviously when COVID hit, there was a massive amount of outflow out of emerging markets equities. We've seen not much happening since then until the last two quarters. Um, it's quite clear that investors, their confidence in emerging markets is recovering and flows have been returning into emerging market equities. On the right, we are looking at the GDP um, forecasts and historicals for these emerging market economies. The green lines here show how the GDPs did last year. And typically we, we saw a GDP loss of between five and 10% for most of these economies. The blue lines here show the forecasts for the same countries for 2021. And you'll notice across the board, um, the GDP forecasts are, are forecast to be positive, um, I think an average of 7% forecast for, for this year of, of growth. Lastly, on the uh, fundamental side, before I hand over to my colleague Anika, here we are looking at the price earnings multiples um, of the top line is the MSCI world, which only has the developed markets. And the bottom line is the MSCI emerging markets index, our index today, um, which is only obviously the EM stocks. So two things to notice here. Firstly, developed markets have outperformed um, in terms of PE since 2008, and the gap between the two um, is at sort of record levels at 30%. So we're saying if you are entering into emerging markets, the, the discount relative to developed markets is now at a 30% um, level. We're saying that it might indicate um, a good entry point. Secondly, you'll notice that the PE levels of both EM and DM are quite high relative to the long-term average on this graph. Um, while that is true, as, as Nico will mention soon, our product does offer capital protection. So we are quite confident that while the current emerging markets PE is just below 19, um, if you look at the long-term trends, the long-term average is around 60. So it's not significantly higher in the long-term average. Great, I'm gonna hand over to my colleague, Anika. Anika, take it away. Awesome, thanks, John. Thanks for the intro. Okay, so we're going to discuss the product now. Um, the, this product is offered on two um, listings, so in two platforms. The first is the offshore listing and the second is domestic. So I'll speak um, a little bit generally about the product and then um, the payoff that you can expect from this product. So for the offshore listing, currently this isn't offered through Easy Equities. However, this is listed on the Euronext Dublin Exchange and it's purely for externalized funds and only has hard currency or US dollar exposure. The domestic listing, which is offered through Easy Equities, is listed on the Johannesburg Stock Exchange, something we're all familiar with. It is a RAND in and a RAND out investment. However, you do receive US dollar exposure for the full term of the product. It's a four-year investment, so a four-year lock, uh, not lock up, but there is liquidity offered throughout the period. And um, the second is the growth. We're offering 22% digital return. Um, however, the investment is uncapped. So should the underlying index, the emerging market index, John just explained, perform more than 22%, you will receive the full equity upside in US dollars. In terms of capital protection, as John said, we're offering 100% capital protection um, in US dollars. However, should the index fall more than 70% only at expiry, um, you will participate in losses. And I will give a little bit more um, color on this in the next slide. In terms of the credit reference entity, we're offering a credit reference to Barclays PLC as well as Investec Bank, um, and that's senior unsecured uh, debt, which is the top of the capital stack, so you don't get any better than that. And um, then it's advisor fees. So just to note, advisor fees would not be impo important for the Easy Equities platform. All these advisor fees are built into the product, and your returns will be net of these fees. So 22% is after any fees um, uh, that are being paid out. 
for minimum investments on this product, these are these don't apply to the easy equities platform because, as you know, you can invest in fractional shares and um, very low minimums. So another positive on this platform. Um, if you could go to the next slide, please, John. Okay, so this is the payoff profile. This is only relevant for the four-year maturity date. So as um, we mentioned previously, should you in, should you divest prior to the four year, we cannot guarantee your capital protection. And um, what we do with the digital plus is on the very first day, so trade date, we mark the initial index level. So let's say that is 100%. At the four, at the four year expiry, if that the final index level at the four year expiry is still that 100%, the initial index level, you will receive the 22% um, digital payoff. Let's say it's 110%, so 10% performance in the underlying index. You will once again receive the 22% digital return. So the digital return is a binary return. If the index performs positively, you receive the return. If it does not, you don't receive the return. On this, we're also offering the plus, so the digital plus. That means uncapped return. So if the index does 40% um, performance, you will receive the full 40%. So that's that full um, 45 degree line going off into infinity, hopefully. Um, then you'll receive um, a 100% capital protection, protection if the index at the four year maturity falls by no more than 30%. So if it ends at 80% of the initial index level, you'll receive 100% capital protection. So let's say, for instance, it falls 60% throughout the, throughout the life. So uh, at three years, it's at 60%. If you hold onto that investment and it still drops during that, uh, it drops at that point, you will not be affected. If you hold out to maturity and it recovers to say 100%, once again, you'll get the 22% digital. So there's no... Um, danger to you in the life of the product if you hold um, for it falling be below that 70% barrier. If at the four year expiry, it has fallen below the 70% barrier. So let's say it's at 60%, you will participate in losses of 40% and, and going down from there. One thing to note that this capital protection is measured in US dollars, but because this is a domestic listing, it is paid out in rand. So once again, this is only your equity payoff. If the currency uh, depreciates, you will receive the additional upside of the US dollar rand um, a depreciation. Obviously, if it, de if it appreciates, so the rand appreciates against the dollar. Um, and you can see currently the, the USD um, rand pairing is very strong. Um, you, it's, you will receive uh, the converse, so um, decreased um, uh, uh, payoffs in the product. So next slide, please, John. So what we've done here is just for interest sake, not, uh, we've looked at the, if we've started this four year digital plus in the last, since the inception of this um, emerging market product in 1985. Um, so its first expiry would have been in 1989. If we had started this product every business day throughout that period until today, we looked at how would this product have performed? So this covers all the major market crashes, tech bubble, 2008 crisis, the COVID crisis, all of that is covered in within this term. And in only in 4.8% of these instances, do you actually lose money? So do you end below the barrier? The most likely cases, so with 52.8% and 14.7%, is that you either receive the digital or you receive uncapped returns within the product. Um, and that's not to say that past uh, performance is an indication of future performance, but as you can see, this is quite a robust um, product and quite a robust index. Um, so if you could go to the next slide, please, John. Okay, then in terms of tax advice, this is a four-year, uh, well, not lockup, but if you invest for the full period, it is for a four-year um, investment. We do not provide tax advice. You are required to seek professional tax advice. However, we have seen that because um, it is longer than the three-year um, capital period, you can claim it on intent, or it's been claimed on intention. So that's just what we've seen in the past. Um, once again, you would need to seek your own uh, professional tax advice. And then, then the final is just the credit risk, as we said previously, um, credit reference to Investic Bank as the issuer and Barclays PLC, once again, top of the capital stack, um, senior unsecured debt. And that should be all for this. Okay, and then just closing dates for this listing is the 9th of July. Um, 
Easy Equities does close on the 8th of July at midnight. So just almost one day prior. Um, and so if you could just keep that in mind for this, um, yeah, that's when we'll be closing and we'd be happy to take any further questions. If you could just go to the next slide. Uh, that's all our details and we'd be happy to take any questions, any um, information you might need further to this. Thanks, John. No, thanks, Luke. I think um, maybe I'll step in here for a second. I'll stop sharing the screen. So this investment is really, um, it's two things. We think it's A, it's, it's a dollar investment. So you'll invest in RANDs on the JSE by your Easy Equities account. We take those RANDs, we convert them to dollars. Um, and at the end of the investment, we'll convert them back into RANDs and, and pay you in RANDs. But the underlying investment is a dollar investment. You've seen the RAND is quite strong at the moment. So we think it's a great opportunity to gain dollar exposure without having to take your money overseas if you don't want to, without using your allowance. So it's an easy way to get a dollar exposure. And then secondly, it is a way to gain access to these Asian markets, which most people don't really have access to or haven't invested in before with these two things, which we highlighted is, is this capital protection. If markets fall 25%, um, if you invest in normal markets, you're losing 25%. With our products, um, you get back your 100 grand ignoring currency, which is a very powerful um, effect compared to investing in normal markets. And if the market is mildly up, um, you get this 22% coupon, which again means you're outperforming um, investors who invest in the straight market. So it's these two elements of protection and uh, an enhanced upside return, which we are selling, as well as this dollar investment um, facilitated nicely by the Easy Equities platform, which allows you to invest in any small increments um, as you go along. But yeah, maybe I'll hand over to, to Stanwa, Stanwa for the uh, Q&A. Awesome. Thank you so much, John. Um, that uh, The presentation really cleared it up for us. Um, and if anyone has questions, um, just again, please remember to ask it in our Q&A section. Um, also, you can check out the presentation on our platform. I have linked the actual, uh, what you call this, the instrument on the email that you would have received when you got this invite. Uh, but for everyone else who will be watching this on YouTube afterwards, I will include the link in the description. Um, but I just have a few questions of my own, um, John and Anika, if you don't mind. Um, so just break it down for us in the most simpler term. Dollar, since it's it's dollar exposed, what in terms of the currency fluctuations, which benefits the investor most? Is it a dollar appreciating or the rand? So yeah, I think I'll take this one. So in, in this case, you investing in rands will be converted to dollars. We're hoping in this case that the rand or the rand weakens and the dollar strengthens. And what this means is, let's say the rand is trading now at 14 rand to the dollar. When you invest in this product, we'll take your rand, convert it to dollars, and now we've get we've got it at 14 rand. If after four years the, the currency has weakened, in this case the rand has weakened to let's say 16 rand to the dollar, when we convert it back, you're getting this additional upside kicker of I'm not sure the maths here, maybe it's six to eight percent of this devaluation. And we have seen in the long term, the RAND is expected to depreciate against the dollar. It's mainly a function of our interest rates and our inflation rates. Um, and while in the short term, the RAND, especially recently, has strengthened, um, in the long term, I guess, as we've seen, the RAND will typically devalue. So that's why we think it is a great time to get into this dollar investment, given the way the RAND is currently quite strong. Awesome. Thanks, John, for that. And Anika went over the 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 twenty two percent the digital, I guess you guys call it the digital gain. Do you mind just going over that a bit for me as well? Because I think that's where I got a bit lostish, on how that works. Okay, so I'll take this one. So a twenty two percent, sorry, um, a twenty two percent digital return. So the way we're able to offer that is we take. So say you uh, using John's. Um, example of 100 Rand, um, we take your uh, 100 Rand investment and off and we take say 70 Rand of that, we put it on deposit for the full four year term and that grows to 100 Rand. So that provides you that capital protection that we spoke about the 100% capital protection after four years. Obviously, if you don't, if you divest after three years, it won't have grown to the full 100%. The other 30% we take and we buy an equity option. And that equity option is a four year equity option referencing the emerging markets index. And what we're able to do there is because it's an enhanced return, we're able to leverage 
leverage the 30% and get you 22% on that, the 30% of your money and get 22% on the digital return. Um, because this is a digital plus, um, that 22% is obviously uh, just a minimum um, should the index perform more than 22%. So that's how we're able to really get that enhanced equity upside versus if you just went directly into the market and put your 100, 100 Rand um, and bought, uh, say, an ETF in this product. Okay, so yeah, maybe also I'll, I'll chip in yeah. here again, Stoma. And if I show this sort of graph here again, as Nick mentioned, what, what we do is we put money in deposits and then we buy these options with an international yeah. bank such as Goldman Sachs. And the digital is this word used in option pricing, digital or binary. Um, I think it's from coding back in the 70s where uh, if you're coding, it's either zero or one. And what this option does is says, we pay for this option, and if the market goes up, you'll be getting this fixed 22% return, no matter how much the market grows. If it's up, you're getting this 22%. We then go buy another option, a normal call option, which make, means we get money if the market goes up from this 122% mark, which then says if the market goes up to 140, we're getting um, this enhanced upside return. So that's what we call it a digital plus. The digital is this like kicker, this 22% upright upfront uh, gain. And the plus means anything in addition to the 22%, you're getting the, the plus, you're getting the upside there. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Thanks for that reference. Um, okay, great. And I actually just want to go even further back to when you started the presentation, John. Um, you mentioned that um, that emerging markets are having a, a turn of tide, essentially. Could you just go over again those three points that you, that you had mentioned um, as to why the emerging markets... Yeah, so it, obviously with this, with COVID and the recovery, COVID has caused the financial markets to be in a kind of weird place, um, specifically low dollar interest rates, um, and in South Africa, low rand interest rates. But across the globe, um, economies are lowering the interest rates to try to stimulate the economies. Secondly, um, there's a lot of dollar liquidity and hard currency liquidity being pumped into the economies, and um, again, to try to stimulate the economies. And this has created an, an, um, an environment which we're seeing is, is raising inflation, it's raising commodity prices um, and the like. And we think this is a storm that, that specifically helps emerging markets in the longer term. Um, the reason our product is, is four years and not our usual three years is we are quite confident that the EMs will recover strongly, but we're not quite sure if it'll happen tomorrow, if it'll happen next year or, or in two years. We think four years is a nice sort of risk adjusted term, which should, shouldn't capture that sort of upside if the markets do recover strongly, which we are confident on. We're just not sure when, obviously. We're not smart enough to call it uh, to call it when. Got you, got you. And you have made, oh, sorry, sorry. So a lot of our users try and understand products in terms of suitability. Do you guys have, you know, a kind of persona or who it's this kind of product is suitable for? Yes, yeah, so I'll take this one. Um, so this is more a moderate to higher risk product. Um, just that's purely because um, that's what we what we would uh, kind of categorize it at at Invesic. However, it's much less risky than if you went directly into the market. So as John mentioned previously, if you went directly into the market and you bought say a hundred rand of an ETF, you would be completely exposed to the full downside of that that ETF. However, you would receive dividends within that. On our product, you give up your dividends, but you get you're basically protected for the first 30% fall in the market. Now, if you believe that the market is going to fall more than 30%, obviously this is not the right product for you. However, if the market only performs moderately, so between 0% and 1%, you get that binary payoff, that 22% digital. So you're going to be outperforming the market. If the market performs more than that, so 30%, you're going to have performed exactly the same as the market. So ultimately, it is quite a, um, a kind of a way to insulate your portfolio from the losses and then kind of captures um, much more than small gains. However, if the market obviously not uh, not the lights out, then you're performing as the market is expected to. Perform. You're basically in line with the market. So, if I um, may also jump, jump in, jump. yes, Daniel and yeah. Nika. Um, it is a four year product. Our products are all fixed term investments between three and five years typically. Um, and they are designed to be held till maturity. We see most of our investors, like 98%, um, hold our products till the very end. And that's how they are designed. However, for whatever reason, if an investor does want to disinvest, um, they are, they are able to do so very easily. 
Um, you can literally pick up the phone and call me, uh, but via the Easy Equities platform, um, you basically just sell it back to us every day in the market. We place a fair market price um, minus a 0.5% bid to mid spread. So if you want to sell the product early, it is um, as simple as selling a normal share. Um, just know that you're getting a fair price minus this half a percent spread. So yeah, I think don't be put off by this fixed term product. Um, if you are investing for the long term, then I think don't worry about it. But if you need the money in, in two years as a worst case, you can sell at a fair price, less half a percent. Great. But then you've also mentioned that, the, that your products have had zero losses at maturity so far. And this is just across the board. Yeah, so for, for 20 years, uh, we're very proud of our stat. We hope to keep it going forward. Um, but yeah, across 80 products that have matured, not one has ever caused the investor a loss if they held to the end. Um, there obviously are cases if you if you sell within the, the term, it might have gone down in the interim. That's so why we do recommend holding to maturity as that's how they are designed. Okay, oh, that's awesome. Um, and um, as you also indicated, you actually do show how it would have performed um, in the past. So. I see a question from Emma here asking, um, how does she access this product? And as Kanye has answered, um, they're available um, in easy equities under the new listings section. Um, so just go check that out. We will be uploading this to YouTube, Emma. So if you keep an eye out there, we will also include a link in the description um, to this product. Um, but actually that's essentially the only question we've actually had from our user base. So I assume that they actually understand this product a lot better than I actually do. So that's awesome. Um, and we've got a question from Combrick Lombard asking, um, how is, but this is about another product. So I guess you can, you know, give feedback on that if you if possible. But he's asking, how's the Investec USD S&P 500 value index autocall performing? Um, and he's mentioned that it was available in March, 2021. I don't know if yes, you guys- Yes, we launched that a few months ago on the S&P value index. That product um, is an auto call, which is quite different. Basically says at the end of three years, if the market's up, you get this fixed um, coupon. I think in this case, we traded it at eight odd percent in dollars. Um, so at the moment, the, the index itself has gone up and it's performed nicely. Um, the RAND has strengthened since we launched. So overall, I think we're quite neutral on that. Um, but this product is a maximum of five years, which might call on the, at the end of years three, four and five. So yeah, we're still a long, long way away from the first call date. Um, we obviously advise to basically um, sit on the product, forget about it, put it away. And in two and a half years time, hopefully the market um, is still up and investors will get this nice coupon of 8% in dollars times, times three at the time. Yeah, and maybe if I could just also jump in, John did mention earlier the long-term um, effect of the RAND. So it is it does um, devalue by about 6% per annum. So you can see that even though there is a period of RAND strength right now, that it is its tendency to depreciate uh, should, you hold, should you continue to hold it. Um, uh, however, obviously that's uh, playing with us a bit right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. And I've actually got another question from Rico, but this has to do more so with Investec's website. Um, they're okay. saying that they struggle to find the updated fact sheets on a month, month to month basis. Um, and so is there a way we, that we could... Yeah, so we, we've actually undergone a bit of a, a change on our side. We have updated our websites in the past few weeks um, with all the fact sheets with the prices, with the with the supplements. So um, if yeah, if you just go to Google and, and type in Investec Structured Products Fact Sheets, you should find it there. Um, and I think I'll also post the link on this chat um, quite shortly. Um, and yeah, so I know we must chat maybe about having these products also linked to these equities maybe. Yeah, hundreds. Yeah, for sure. Okay, cool. So um, then I think I'm going to round off. But then guys, I just want you to go over, I, I would say, the main highlights and the main uh, uh, points about this this type of product especially this one rather so what would you say uh, i'll start with you anika what's the main like pulling point for this product so i think it's the digital uh, plus mainly uh, your 22 percent enhanced return and then once again uncapped upsides uh, uncapped upside sorry um so should the index perform moderately um you're getting the 22%. And um, if the index outperforms, you're not you're not hindered on the upside. And then once again, the capital protection, which is very important, especially in these types of markets um, where you can't really uh, time it and anything can really happen. We've seen that with things like the COVID route, where the market was dropping, you know, 10% 
um, for in a week. So that those are the two main um, points in this. Another thing that which John did mention earlier, which we we have seen clients use, um, is the liquidity. Um, this is not a four year lockup. You are able to get your money out whenever necessary. We are happy to create free market price and Investec always acts as the sole market maker um, on a reasonable endeavors basis. So um, those are really the this the main points here that uh, we'd like you to take away um, mm. from this product. John? Yeah, I think for me, it's uh, quite simple. It is an easy way to get dollar exposure. I think most of us maybe have too much RAND exposure in my portfolio. It's quite easy to buy JSC, JSC, JSC. It's very much a RAND portfolio. Um, so it's, it's a dollar exposure to an index that most of us probably don't have enough of. I think these Chinese stocks are quite prepped to do well in the future. I think it's a nice way to get exposure to China, uh, Taiwan and the rest in dollars um, with this protection that says the markets might be quite high at the moment. If they do fall 20%, you get back your money. So it's a risk adjusted, safer bet um, to get exposure to Asia in dollars facilitated very nicely on the easy equities platform in RANDs um, for a four year investment. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much. And I guess that actually wraps it up, guys. So to everyone who's either joining now or watching this on YouTube, uh, make sure to go on to Easy Equities to see the full presentation as well as the, as well as the documents and the sending dates that you need to find um, for this product. We will include the, the product in our description um, on this video. So I'd like to thank uh, the investor guys for joining and the, the attendees as well for coming through and asking some questions. Um, Anika, John. Yeah, thanks everyone for joining. Um, yeah. Guys, please, my, my number was on the slide, uh, my email address, any questions at all, pick up the phone and call me. Um, I'll be available or an email. We're always happy to help. And again, yeah, thanks for attending and we look forward to uh, doing more of these soon. Yes, thanks so much, guys. All right, cheers, everyone. Have a great, great day. Thanks, everyone. So